British government and sprayed clouds of bacteria along the Dorset coast in collaboration with British scientists who'd been carrying out trials across Devon and Dorset. The news has been described as alarming by those campaigning for a public inquiry into the experiments. Our environment correspondent Simon Hall has this exclusive report. This latest disclosure about the germ warfare trials is proving one of the most controversial. Those campaigning for a public inquiry say they may have been prepared to accept the British government's view that such testing was needed if it had been done openly and if it had been guaranteed beforehand to be safe. But to invite a foreign power to conduct tests and expose British citizens to them has caused considerable surprise and concern. All the initial responses were that it was just the British government, but now it's the American involved as well. Um, I find it very alarming. The tests were carried out off Portland in November 1971. A ship made 16 runs spraying the bacteria. The prevailing wind took the germs onto Portland to be detected at sampling stations. We asked the American Department of Defense for an interview, but they said they were unable to locate any records of the trials or anyone who had any recollection of them. A British government statement said it was UK practice to share the results of its defensive research with its allies. It says the trials were safe. The documents relating to the American trials are some of the final ones of the series. They concern methods of detecting bacteria and show the research has moved on considerably from investigating the dispersal and concentration of bacteria clouds that were seen in earlier trials. The discovery of the American involvement in the trials here off Portland just about completes the picture of the germ warfare experiments. Two of the 30 or so documents remain secret, but I understand that they relate mainly to technical matters and add little to what's already known. Historically speaking, the fact that the Americans came here demonstrates just how important the trials were seen as being, not just for Britain, but for the whole of NATO, for it was a time of great Cold War tension and the fear of a biological attack from the Soviet Union was very real indeed. That may explain the historical context of the tests. It is, though, of little comfort to those who believe they may have caused them to become ill. That's a matter for the independent microbiologist who's been asked by the government to investigate the safety of the test.